Hello, this is Brian, B Rizzle 805. And as you can see by this, it is time to look at some Titans. And uh, so I just recently got this guy. This is my first one. And Scorponok was my second. He almost, I never got him, but I had the money and I like him. I haven't got any add-ons for him yet, but I'm here to look at this one. And not because everyone else is, not because he's amazing, he's awesome. Scorponok pretty much is pretty amazing. I think I mistransformed him. I honestly don't, not sure what to do with the bottom pieces, but uh, I'm not worrying about that right now. I wanted to make a point. Wow. All right. Sorry. All right. So, the cool thing about... Okay, no. The big difference between all three of these. A lot of people are saying he's a very simple build. Or simple transformers. It unfolds, unfolds, unfolds. But, and I know a lot of people are like, well, uh, Metroplex did the same thing. Uh, if anything, not Astro Train, um, the... the The one that turns to a space shuttle, a space rocket, and turns and shoots up. The name is Omega Supreme or something. He turns in, he's like a parts former type of thing. He's like an Optimus Prime type of Titan. And he's sort of different than all the rest. But these guys, like this guy, he... As you see, this guy's the biggest. Or longest, because he's technically laying down. Uh, Scorpionok is tucked away to look like a scorpion, and he looks like a spaceship. That's really one of the biggest things, is a lot of these guys are just tucked away. Like him. Here's the head. No. Didn't break it. We're good. He stands up. And then, those are add-on pieces right here. I'm not showing you everything. I'm just showing you that he stands up. Ah, there he goes. And then, take these. Fold them away. And those are his arms. This piece goes back. Boom. Basically, he, you move his arms down, you push a few pieces there, and you take off. These become his feet. But, he's already in robot mode. You just have to move a few pieces. That's always been his transformation, though. He is tall, he's bulky, and he also has uh, electronics. So, when it comes to, I would say the only other Titan that may stand out amongst the rest is a uh, Trypticon, but he mainly just turns into a spaceship, kind of like uh, the Ark, but he turns into a giant dinosaur. So, very uh, similar, I guess. Him is the same way. Um, and like all these things are different because uh, the Ark has Teletran 1 or mainframe as like an inside robot for no real reason because he's not in scale. Both the Ark and mainframe are in scale with each other. And if they are, then essentially if you have the world's smallest. This would be the size, give or take, except when you come here, except when you turn into... So there's a lot of exceptions of what's the size, like, there's no size thing. Like, when he's a Teletron 1, he works well with the legend size, like uh, um, Wheelie over there. I'm going to use Wheelie in a different way today, um, but... 
I, I'm not sure. They wanted to have a really cool ship, but they also wanted to interact with everyone else. And I'm not sure if they succeeded. I don't, I know they didn't, but coming back to this main point of, um, for some reason, my, uh, Fortress Maximus just basically lays down and then just kind of, you stand him up and move his arms. He's transformed. Him, you, you at least have his, um, you at least have his legs right here tucked away. These are his arms. His head is actually already on there. He gets either on wrong or something. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try and do it on screen. Real quick. So. There's his head. I haven't transformed this guy in a while, so. There's that. You end up undo this, and it goes up and see. And I think I have that done wrong too. So, um, but then we come down here. And you just unfold his feet. Which the uh, the arc does that too. They have a unfold the feet thing, but his arms are already out. His feet are just tucked away. And go ahead and tell me if I uh, did everything wrong in here because I probably did. Oops. Feet. I can't get it. There we go. And I think I have his, the backpack on. So all I did, all he does, and I'm glad he stands, is his legs are tucked in and his arms are out like this, and you just turn the head around, and it's not a difficult transformation. It's just, that's how he was. I'm gonna see if I can fix the, uh, that. I'm very unfamiliar with the, uh... Oh, yeah, that's how it is. It just tucks in. Okay. Sorry. So, yeah. He just tucks his feet in, his arm comes out, and you turn the head around, and it's already there. And you just unfold the tail. So, there is some transformation, but... You know, it's okay. It's not as... easy or basic as Fortress Maximus. But before we do anything with... arc and do one more tangent now the coolest thing you could probably do with um the arc so i have the landing gear down if you have the world's smallest or even to the uh they have um metal like die cast toys they only made a, a three pack i think with these guys and I think that is a good scale you can display them because 
world's smallest also did Starscream won't stand. Doesn't matter, he's not the best colored one. And he doesn't belong on the arc. All the time. So, if you're gonna stand him over here, doesn't look too bad. Is it to scale? No, but it looks not bad. Oh yeah, and if you want to continue with this, to say any Transformer that exists out there, You can even add these guys to it. There is now a DeLorean that changes, a Gigalot, and also the new Jurassic Park one. So, if you wanted to have a fun display, that's one way to do it. Okay. And to say, that some people say that he just opens up, he's a very basic Transformer. And like, they're all basic ones because if they were very complicated Titans, um, I would say the only big complicated Titan is uh, Devastator and Predacon, because, Predaking, because there's like five or six robots that come together and you just have to make sure it's the right thing. And this one's just, one, it's supposed to look like a ship. So, I have made a few mods on here, and every other review of these guys, of this guy, I mean, is loud. I have made them the, the quietest. Um, I may have lost a few, um, like, like he can't pick up a, a giant uh, Voyager Megatron anymore. Nor should he need to, because uh, Megatron's never going to be that big for him. But, um, I made a few mods on him where he's really quiet. So, I'm going to show you real quick what I mean. And then, basically, I took him apart. All the screws and stuff. I took the ship apart. Arms, legs, body. Uh, sanded down and cut some of the gears, uh, gear, clear things that hit the gears down. And made it so that you could still do stuff. And you could still transform. He's not super loose. Uh, only a few places, but it's not too bothersome. But um, I didn't like that it was super loud. I hate this part. Is it this one? This one. Mine doesn't fly up a whole lot. Not yet. Okay. So. Keep in mind, try to remember every other review out there about people in uh, transforming this guy. If you don't see anything, don't worry. Okay. Sorry. And continue. And try to. So even if you can't see it, you you know how to transform them. So, his arms move. 
It's arms move. It's arms move, and you don't hear any clicking. I fixed a few of the things. His, he moves without clicking, but he still keeps his composure. This is only kind of loose thing, because I did uh, cut down the thing a little too much, but his weight keeps him there. And the cool thing that I did is this. I always thought it'd be cool if he was a real transformer and could go without a head. I mean, at least you keep him like this. You don't need a mainframe in there. You just move him in there, and now he doesn't have a head. Here's another thing, too. Give me a second. I need to make sure this is in. Right, let me show you what I did. metal bracket I glued in and I cut right there it's a very soft plastic right here there's that and this is wheelie he's not broken don't worry I'm a big customizer. Whenever I see something, I want to say, uh, how do I fix this? So, we have Wheelie. And you can see, he's a very similar color orange. And I don't mind that head for the last Autobot, but... I just move the legs like this. Keep it up. And then I made a little using the Prime Masters or one that's all this color. Just using, um, what's his name? Um, sorry, it's late. And it's not late, it's just I'm just tired. Librarian and uh, Bludgeon. Doesn't matter if I forgot or not. It doesn't really matter at all. So, you could go inside there. So, you could be like a headmaster or a whatever you want to call him, like a, so a smaller robot who's just controlling a bigger robot through the head, kind of like some of the animes that are out there. And right now, he looks like a head. And then you come up here. I'm trying to remember how I did it. Okay, that's how I did it. It was a very specific way. So the wheels sort of have to go down, go inside the hole. This guy always never stayed together. Only really sits in there. There's no clipping in or at least not yet. Okay. And now you have a little robot inside of a bigger robot making the head with the big body of the arc and the robot arc head inside the chest. And it's the same size as the head, so it doesn't look totally out of place. Then you could even have mainframe outside of there, because, or even have him in, you can't, now you can't have him inside there with his head on there because there's no room because of my transformation. But, I wanted to have some fun and try and try something out and I think this is a really cool different look for him. Now he's a headmaster just like the other two.
using a wheelie and a prime master. And you don't even need a guy inside because you could just have wheelie turn to the head. But if you had a little guy that powers the entire thing, that's just kind of a cool idea. And that's what this is all about. What I think Transformers is all about is having cool imagination. And that's how this arc got to be. They wanted an arc. They said Last Autobot. And, you know, the Netflix version, the Netflix film, didn't do a great job of him because he was in for five seconds and that's it. But at least here, we're using the idea, the idea that maybe Wheelie was chosen to become the head of a bigger robot. He has a purpose. And maybe he's less annoying now. Let's hope so. But yeah. But now I have a really quiet, transforming arc that has a headmaster and a transformation gimmick with a head. Took a lot of uh, unscrewing, a lot of changing, a lot of uh, trying things out, but it was good that way. I think it worked out and uh, I like what came of this. So if anything, I hope this uh, inspires you to um, try different things. Don't be afraid to cut your... Uh, Transformers, and you know, if you're young and should be playing with uh, exacto knives, ask your parents if you can, and they're, they should, they'll probably tell you no. So don't do it. Don't do it. Have fun with your toys until you decide I'm old enough to uh, cut them up and uh, fix them. But the big difference now, too, is if Wheelie is the headmaster and this is the size of the robot should be. Wheelie is now too big and he cannot be Wheelie anymore. So we have to call him something else. So every time you try something to fix this guy, there's always a new problem. But I like how he looks. I like his companion. Even Fortress Maximus has some companions you had to buy separately. Um, and even Scorponaut had his head gimmick that he could transform into and had his double headmaster thing so everyone has a cool little gimmick and the arc you know why not why doesn't the arc have one he does now so i made him have a gimmick and i could even use these guys as little drones and there's even a way to do something like this as now they're like tanks. And because they're very similar color to that, maybe that's his uh, defense when he's re-energizing or something. I don't know. It's called storytelling and creativity and still size comparisons and stuff. That, they just don't add up to what everything should be at least those two guys have a size comparison and this guy i'm trail i'm still trying to figure out the best way he should be because right now that's what it is so unless he um his size shifts like a um sound wave that would be the only uh solution to it but other than that that's how it is I'm glad he looks good even if you said this was his head when this guy was inside that would make sense because of his visor and if you painted it up silver right here it'd be like two different heads and then this is the head of the arc this is the head of mainframe or teletron one when he's inside and then this is the head of oh well, i'm sorry this is the head of him when he's in it 
This is the head of the Ark by himself. And then this is the head of a wheelie when he's on top of it. So, I guess you could have your options. Um, I do have uh, the third party gimmicks coming in from here. And he's going to have lit, uh, uh, light up eyes and uh, panels that go on top of the wings. So, um, he's not done yet. And when he is, maybe I'll do an updated video or something. But right now, he has a spot on my shelf where you could see the back of his thrusters. And it looks like he's crashed. And all these little guys right here are next to it to put, get a good scene from far away. So, like I said, I hope I've inspired you to have fun and uh, customize some of your Transformers. Try not to spend a ton of money to, to customize, but I saw this as a decent investment and so far i've been picking up a lot of the uh delorean the ghostbusters i have the uh, t-rex and Jurassic park stuff coming in so i was just thinking why not why shouldn't i not have i also have the x-men blackbird so this is a very iconic ship in the transformers universe universe and an overall universe um overall so yeah so don't be afraid to uh, customize be a big, be a customizer and uh, join the world of customizers because I think we all need it. If only he had some cool weapons to go here or these could move. I have a lot of uh, complaints about some of this stuff and I could see a third party set come in here because this is just a small piece of plastic that connects right here. If a third party set came in and had lit up, uh, light up thrusters, that'd be really easy for them to do. And it's really easy to, to install. So hopefully someone sees this and says, I'll do it. So anyhow, thanks for watching. It's about 30 minutes right now. And uh, I knew it would be along this line. So this has been Brian or BRizzle805 doing a long waiting uh, video on YouTube. This has been a custom Transformers Titan class, the arc slash mainframe slash Teletran 1 slash wheelie i don't have a name for him wheelie head master so and uh you know some size comparison uh more some comparisons of transformations his at least unfolds and folds up to become an actual ship there's they lay down and fold their legs up and they become something this guy does actually something, and I think he's a little more of a Transformer than the rest of them. Just by definition. Some of them are lazy, but that's how their original design was. So I can't knock them off for that. And Scorponok turns into a scorpion in a very easy way. He turns into a ship in a very easy way. They're all very easy because they're supposed to be. At least they're kind of fun. And they make for a really cool display. So, thanks a lot for watching. This has been Brian, BRizzle805, saying, customize your toys if you can. If you can't, enjoy them as they are. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.